Episode 2 Lying on the beach, totally bare. Hello nature lovers. Now, today I'm at Western Supermare Sculpture Park because I've been thinking that sand sculptures might be a very good way of enabling me to get up close to fierce creatures with exact replica models. Now this bear, obviously, is a little bit exaggerated, a bit oversized, and also is on a trolley, which is not necessarily the natural environment for such a bear. But it's enabling me to feel along, and I'm imagining a leg or an arm, I imagine an arm, as I go round. Ah, look, some... <laughs> Very fierce looking claws. Now how else would I get close enough to a bear like this without it being a model? A fantastic opportunity. So the skills involved in creating something like this are great and they could be deployed into exact replica models of a whole range of fierce creatures. Now there are other examples around the sculpture park so let's have a look around the whole place. must bring to your attention the fact that the sculptures are only allowed to be touched on the final day of the season, just before they're dismantled. Throughout the rest of the season, handling of the sand sculptures is strictly prohibited. does not condone the use of real animals in circus acts. He considers these sand sculptures in the same way as he regards animals in cartoons. A harmless bit of fun. So, if you have any interest in nature, please do consider using sand sculpture as a means of presenting animals within easy reach. When I visited the Sand Sculpture Park, Western Supermare, in 2018, as you can see, the theme was the circus. The theme changes each year. So go online and check on the theme for this year. Now I meet a lion. Hello nature lovers, I'm looking at the lion and being shown around by a member of staff here called Rob. Hello. Yes, so... This no. lion, I think, took about well, six days. Right. To... Is this a chin? This is oh. a chin, yes. Yeah, okay. So you've got the mouth features and the nose. Well, I never thought I'd be <laughs> sticking my fingers up a yeah. lion's nose. <laughs> Thankfully, these ones don't bite. No. Wow. So this is slightly larger than actual size, do you yes. think? Yeah. It's, it's uh, okay. a lot larger than a real. Right. So I think I'm looking at the potential for getting somebody to make some sort of life-size models. Yes. As a, as a way of um, showing me and, and other visually impaired people exactly what creatures are like. Once yep. you like a lion that you'd never ever get a chance get of getting chance this close to, to would no, you? Of course. So you know, as, as well as the artistic side, uh, yeah. I think that's the sort of educational side. Well, this is and, it. And, this and, is what we're expanding more towards: is the fact that we can use the art as a as a way of you know giving people a message to teach people about various things and. Ah. And you know, um, with the circus theme this year, which is what it is, you know, we can help uh, educate people into the fact that there are still animals being used in circuses, you know, and and that sometimes that's not okay. There's still, I think, 30 animals in the UK being used in circuses, okay. which was something that was um, the use of wild animals was banned, I think, in 2010 by uh, I think it was Nick Clegg uh, signed that. Right. But um, well, yeah. I didn't realise, you know, your sort of crossover with real life is so yeah. so important to you with these exhibits. Yes, so mm. it's, yeah. it's, it gives us that basis to to give something back to the community as well as producing art for yes. people to look at, and a lot of artists as well are are very 
you know they've, they like their pieces to be thought provoking so they, they will want to send the message across as well ah. whilst other pieces may be then just more an aesthetic piece yes some will have more of a um, sort of philosophy or a meaning behind yeah it. you're getting your thinking so yeah. what's this then is this just a this is a one of the, the front it's leg the front. oh that's a leg yes goodness me it's all the way down there enormous and then that is the there's the foot yeah down to the claws yeah oh boy I'd never get a chance to get this close. No. We've got some cats at home and one of them pretends to be a lion, but uh, she'll never get anywhere near it. Yeah. So that's the other foot there is resting against the ball. So this, this, ah, I this see. ball so, there is yes. just sort of what it's kind of propped up on. It's got one, I one see, foot so on one foot, yeah. And the other foot on the pin. Yeah. Cool, your artists go to some um, effort to come oh, up with a do. way of presenting them, just not in a straightforward way. Yes. But, yeah. Big old ball, that is. Right, so is it best to go around to see the main? Uh, yes. This way, or? Come around. Me, there we are. Perfect. Here we have the main. You can see all, feel all the little ridges in it and all the detail that's gone into that. It's amazing, really. And ears, I suppose, somewhere, are they? I think the ears actually may be there. Ah, there, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I carry on round? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So this is just the chest, the um, chest of it, and if you come down here, you can feel the ribs. You've got the ribs here. These these uh, sort of ridges, uh, as ribs coming down to the pelvis. And if you feel down from here, the spine all the way down. Yeah, and you've got the tail there. Ah. Oh, you're quite close to the edge there, so... Oh yeah, because thanks for the warning. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I had to look at the end of the tail when I came round yes. first, but I didn't go all the way up to this bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> great. And you've got the buttocks of the lion with this leg sort of crouched down. Yeah. Mm, not part of the exhibit. <laughs> so we're we back to where we were at the front. Yes. Yeah. Oh. So now you got the chin again. Oh, oh good. Right, and give you a hearty handshake and say Thank thanks very much, much, Rob. Cheers. Cheers.